Hey, it's Sunday morning, and this is the video I'm going to show you about the new truck. You know, on Facebook and all, I said I, you know, bought my son a new truck, dump truck. Um, basically, I did. Um, the truck's mine. I'm responsible for the payments on the truck, but I bought it for my son to continue on the business, and it'll be his truck that he drives all the time. With you know, I, as I slowly fade away, this is his. Um, people were like, well, why didn't you buy you, yourself, a, you know, a new four-door or whatever, Tundra or whatever. Here's the deal. When I buy stuff, if it's something that, when I turn that key, if it doesn't make me money every day, I'm not happy. I don't like to buy things, you know, Corvettes or whatever it is. Got the Mustang. You guys seen it whatever. I'll be getting rid of it soon. But that, it will make me money too. I bought it cheap, repaired it in the other videos. And uh, for what I got in and what I sell it, I'll make it quite a bit of a profit. So, like I say, everything I buy, yeah, it's just something weird about me has to make me money. I don't like it when I buy something and it depreciates. This truck, I'll depreciate it on the taxes for the company. So, I mean, I like that depreciation. But anyway, back to the truck. I'm going to show you some pictures here in a few seconds of what I was going to build and struggled with for about a month and a half. And I uh, made a YouTube short of it yesterday, uh, international flatbed. I wanted um, to go back to something commercial that I could put lots and lots of miles on and things don't wear out. And some of you, I never really made videos of it, but I used to have the Zuzu up. It's going to be on the cover picture of the video that I pulled the stump grinder with. And that truck made me money every day. Whether I was stump grinding or not, I hauled garbage, trash, dirt, whatever. I made extra money and it covered fuel or extra pocket money by hauling things. That's the purpose of this truck. I'm not really going to be, I'm not going out to do cleanups of chips, but if the tree company's there, and they want me to haul them. They've got the ditch witches. They can load me. And I'll charge them extra to haul it. I've got a place basically 50 yards from my house to dump it. Okay. So I wanted something once again that every time I turned the key made money. So let me turn this around. Before I turn around, I'll show a short clip of what I was going to build, the International, but I also felt it was overkill for what we pull. For some of you that pull two stump grinders or maybe maybe you pull a big stump grinder and a ditch witch, you might want to think about it instead of a three quarter ton or one ton because if you go one notch bigger like to an international 4700, um, you'll really never wear out that truck. you know. And a lot of those internationals, the, the DT 466 diesel, you can do an in-frame rebuild. In-frame means the engine doesn't have to be pulled. They can remove the cylinders. It's a whole other thing. I'll explain it to you in another video. So, and that's a big plus. Anyway, let me turn this around and we'll talk about the truck. And I'll sh I'll sh You'll see a flash right now, a couple of pictures of what I was going to build and now what I am going to build. All right, here's the new truck. You see the Chevy badge? It says V8 gas. Typically, I run diesels, right? This one has the new Chevy. I think it's been out two years, 2020. Chevy 6.6, .6, which is about, if you change it to cubic inches, about 400 cubic inches. At first, I was like, well, do I really want to buy a gas truck? This motor has 401 horsepower and 460 and change foot-pounds of torque in a six-speed transmission. The Zuzu I had before, which, look at here, you see that Chevy deal? This is a 4500D 
WT, that's what they call them, WTs. Here's a little surprise. What does that say? See, I still bought it at Zuzu. Zuzu makes these for Chevy. All right. Here's the interior of the truck. It's got power windows. It's got cruise control. It's got, if you look here, it's got D6 and D4. If you're in town going up hilly stuff and all, I keep it in D4. When you get on the highway, it's D6. It's overdrive, okay? My, so it's got a six-speed transmission. My Isuzu had a five-speed transmission, the one I had before, and a 5.2 diesel. It did really good on fuel. I really don't know what my old Isuzu did because I never used to bother to keep um, records of what I got. This thing... We've driven it now for a week. My son freaking loves this truck. It's got a 12 foot. I did not design the truck. I bought it off the lot like this. It's got a 12 foot bed. All right. These unlatch, unlatch. This, these sides come off. What I don't like, I didn't design it but I'll modify it is over here you have to pull these flip these up on the side flip it on the other side and this has to come off so I'm going to modify the sides slice it put hinges on it and make it where it falls down but the truck came with a hitch my old Isuzu I have to have that uh, I have to have the drop put on there put the hitch on it and wire it for a trailer this one was already pre-wired, already had the hitch installed. Okay, so it was simple, easy peasy. Uh, let me tell you what we're gonna do here though. I'm probably gonna put three foot boxes here. It also came with underbed boxes. This is a short one here. This box is basically useless because it's got the hydraulic pump in it. It's got a little room in there. I could put a couple of toe straps, something non-metallic metallic in there. I'll put three foot box here, another three foot box on top. I ordered some tool racks to go up on the side for the rakes. And I'll put uh, probably another two uh, or one three foot box on that side and uh, holders for a gas and a blower on that side. And then uh, I'm not sure maybe something coming across here another toolbox I want to be able to carry my chainsaws again and everything be able to locked up no one can get to it now I've got this small deal here just for this week so I can carry some tools and stuff and I'm not very happy with that but you know you got to do what you do till you modify it so so hot here so where I, I don't want to work outside also this is a dump bed right so I showed you hydraulic motor it's 12 foot long about 8 feet wide so this one is wider than what my old Isuzu is the bed wise it, it it overhangs a little bit see there but it's perfect it's it's really working out even better my old box or my old Isuzu if you look at the cover picture you'll see had a walkthrough box here it's the same truck got drunk that got junk trucks are and um it had rakes and, and go through boxes here for tools and you lost it was a 10 foot bed so you lost all this so basically i'm going to do the same thing 12 foot bed i'll come back three here but this whole center will be open so all i'm doing it is to haul some stuff to whatever we haul is just extra money especially in the winter time um you know i made a video a few weeks ago about thinking you know the new economy coming and stuff like that so i practice what i preach we gotta have to where if we go to a job and they got like i said junk or something we can just say hey we'll hold that away for a little few extra dollars all right so this is the truck it's got the gas motor's got 401 horsepower and 462 foot pounds of torque. This thing has got more balls than my old 
diesel oh, is either is. Also, I gotta tell you, this truck rides. My other Zisu was, I, I was used to it or whatever, I didn't know the difference. It was like a bucking Bronco. This thing rides fantastic. Uh, and I don't I don't think they changed any suspension, but what they did change is I'm not running 16 inch tires like they used to. I'm running 19.5. And that makes a hell of a difference. Also on the highway with this thing, you know, these truck cab overs were notorious, and especially the Isuzus with the diesel, 60 miles an hour, 65, and she was screaming. I had to have it floored, you know, to get through traffic, and that's all she wanted to go, okay? She could pull anything, but that's all she was giving. This thing is the cruise control at 60 miles an hour. It's just, uh, it's at 1,800 RPM. Uh... I don't know how fast these things are go. I, I don't want to really, I don't need to because I drive 60, 65, you know, and I actually like 60 pulling a trailer, you know, call me an old man or whatever, but I like it. This thing stops on a dime. I don't even know the trailers back there with the stump grinder. Don't even feel it. So, and now you want to know what I paid for this thing. I'll tell you straight up. This truck is a 2021, but brand new. A friend of my own's landscaping company, he'd been passing this truck on the highway for a year at a dealership. And they had some other ones with landscape beds and stuff, but it's a little bit outside the city. And honestly, they were advertising this wrong. It was flat instead of having it up to show people it was a dump bed. I could have sold it if I was a car dealer fast back then. So I go in there to the dealership, the guy, uh, I go to talk to the commercial salesman. He's a total donkey to me. He starts off, we don't give away trucks here. I said, now wait a minute. That truck you told me is a 2021. He said he wanted $56,000 for it. And I said, well, that truck's been here for well over a year. No, no, it has. I said, yes, it has. And I know it has been. I've had somebody already spotting this truck out and called me to come look at it. So, finally the guy calms down. I said, I'm not here to steal a truck or, you know. I said, I know that in 2021, the cabin chassis was $36,000. And he got in my face and said, we don't give away. I'm not talking to you. I'm not, we're not giving away equipment here. I said, I understand that. It's hard to get trucks now. Uh, the guy calmed down. We went back to his office and he said, well, I'll tell you what. I won't even dick around with you. I got to have 50 grand. I said, okay. He said, we got a $10,000 bed on that truck and the dump and the hydraulics and stuff like that. I said, uh, that's 50 grand. I don't care what you got in it or whatever, as far as dump beds or whatever. I said, it's 50 grand for what it sits out there. He said, yeah, we'll take it. Because the truth is, it's costing them money sitting there. I talked to another Chevy dealership that doesn't sell trucks, and he told me how things go with Chevy. Well, any dealership, you know, after a certain period of time, it starts costing the dealer money. So he's losing money. So basically, the MSRP was 36000 for the cabin chassis. And this bed, I, I got to see the, some idiot left the invoice. So I got to see what they paid for it. They had like 9900 and something stupid dollars from the, the manufacturer of the bed and hydraulics. All right. So they had. Who knows what they had in this truck, you know, 40-something. So they still made a little money. I'm happy. But here's another little trick thing. I'll shorten this up. When you start going to the bigger trucks, like 4,500, 5,500, 6,500s, financing on a truck, like this is a Chevy, so you go to a Chevy dealership, right? And you say, oh, I want to finance it. And, it, and I said, I saw a commercial last night that they had some kind of financing, you know, for Chevys or whatever. So I, this is a commercial vehicle. There is none of that. It's going to be 7% interest. I said, I don't, it's a new, I'm not, I'm, I don't need your financing. Said, well, it's very hard to get commercial. Uh, I picked up the phone while I was in his office, dialed the number, talked to one of the guys at my credit union. He says, hey, it's Adam, blah, blah, blah. Looking at a truck here. And I told, and I told him what it was. I said, what will you give me? He said, uh... 
I said, all right, 3.9, thanks. I said, yeah, so what I got to do is just bring us the sheet from the dealership and we'll take care of it with them. The guy sitting there across from me, he goes, how the hell did you get that? I said, you know, it's part of doing business. And if they want to do business with me, I want to do business with them. Apparently, you didn't want to do business with me. So the truck deal's done. Don't worry about the financing and the credit union will pass the stuff back and forth to you. So I, he goes, you want to take the truck right now? I said, nope. He was kind of confused because I'm confused too because, you know, I just walked in there, five minutes, did the deal. I'm not driving away. I don't have insurance on this thing. Oh, well, don't worry. Your insurance company covers. No. Nope. Call my insurance person. I get everything lined up. I go back the next day and pick it up. So that's the deal. Trucks bought for 50. They're very hard to find. This is 12 foot. I wanted it short. It's up to you if you want something like this. Just remember, uh, it's commercial. But I will tell you another reason I bought this truck. All right? Follow me here. This truck, okay, single cab, 12-foot bed, right? That truck is the Tundra that I've been pulling it the stump grinder after I sold my Zuzu. Do you know that truck got pulling in that stump grinder? 11.4 miles to go. That truck, but my son and I, and he learning to drive and flooring, you know, the gas pedal up and down, up and down, blah, blah. Different driving than me. We got 10 miles to go. So, and that's all, that's 90% city driving. We got 10 miles to go, pulling the stump grinder. I know that's not fantastic mileage to some of you guys, but that truck just moves from point A, point B, point C. That just goes to job sites. I'm not going to the mall in that truck. But the other thing is, this truck is only six inches shorter than that setup. So that truck is six inches longer than the Tundra. That truck, I can go... I can go to an intersection in, a, in like a local town street, four-way, make a complete U-turn. That truck turns, it's a cab over. Cab overs turn like crazy. My son couldn't believe it. He says, well, I'm going to have to back up and do a K-turn. I said, no, no, cut the wheel all the way and go around. He's like, we just made a U-turn in the middle of the... I said, yep, there you go. That's why I love the Zuzus. So, anyway, that's the new truck. You'll see, you you know, like in the beginning, I told you, you'll see some little clips of what I was going to build. I might build one later on if I land up buying bigger equipment or something like that. So this one, nothing to remember. Let me show you something real quick. See the suspension down there? I don't know if you can see. It's the same as in big trucks, but just a little bit smaller. All right? So... My Zuzu, I sold it after owning it 16 years of working it. Never broke down on me. This one, if I need a gas, it's a gas motor, right? But if something happens, I need a gas motor, it's a Chevy motor. A brand new engine of this. I can locate them. I already started checking. $7,000, whatever. So, what is that? Right? This truck will last my son. I'll be dead. And it'll last him. We'll just keep good maintenance on it. Anyway. That's all for today. God bless you. And you know, I mean, I was getting out. I'm in. I'm out. I'm in. I'm in for him. Have a great one.